Hello everyone and welcome to FunnelToTunnel.com uh, We are doing a video after a long long time because uh, uh, we were figuring out what to do next uh, and uh, in pursuit of ensuring what we always ensure at funnel to tunnel that you learn what you are supposed to learn I landed myself upon a general cargo vessel so I am in command of this vessel now uh, I've just joined it recently and uh, like I said in our previous videos, I was on a, a Panamax bull carrier. We have discussed in detail, in depth, that uh, uh, how the loading pr procedures are taken care of, especially with respect to the pre stowage plan, the calculations, limiting drafts, um, and ensuring uh, that you prepared the loading sequences as uh, required and as applicable. So we have discussed uh, as far as the bulk cargo uh, calculations and uh, loading. Uh, issues are concerned now uh, after that I got a lot of queries regarding handling of general cargo which includes cargo such as steel coils you've got uh, pipes you have got uh, other any project cargo for that matter so in, in order to ensure that you learn the best I made myself to join this uh, general cargo vessel it belongs to one of the largest operator of open hatch bulk carriers in the world it belongs to G2 Ocean and I'm over here uh, in command of this vessel uh, we have uh, recently took over this vessel from uh, from from the another managed recently so how this bulk carrier is called uh, it's not a bulk carrier in fact it's a general cargo vessel it can still load bulk cargoes but it is called uh, it, the category is basically the general cargo why general cargo because it can it can carry uh, project cargoes it can carry uh, sophisticated cargo such as windmills towers pipes industrial plants uh, you can carry coils you can carry plates you can also carry like i said uh, bulk car bulk cargoes also you can carry containers on deck so if you can see we have all the arrangement of carrying containers uh, and we have got all the uh, fittings like I said for for fixing the stacking cones and everything over here we will be discussing all these things in detail since I am on board now so just to give a glimpse of this uh, specialized kind of a vessel and uh, also to kick start our uh, series on uh, a loading of general cargo and how to go about it especially as far as the plans are concerned uh, using the loadicators are concerned lashing very important uh, uh, phenomena as far as these kind of vessels are concerned so we will be kick starting it, it uh, this whole thing through this video but in order to just give you a glimpse of how this uh, this vessel uh, is and uh, why it is called uh, open hatch bulk carrier because this is a 200 meter long ship we have got 11 holes so if you can see the holes run from right from uh, starboard to port or you can say along the whole width of the vessel this is one hatch cover on which i am standing on top you don't have any space actually much of the space to stand on the main deck there is nothing called as main deck over here it's very very little i'll just show you this is the only main deck but the in order to maximize the cargo carrying capacity uh, these these specialized ships are designed from port to starboard as far as the cargo compartments are concerned all the holes are box shaped that means it's just like a cube uh, we don't have any uh, frames and everything in order to uh, inside the hole like in a conventional bulk carrier we have got frames and uh, webs and uh, brackets and hoppers we don't have anything of that sort it's a complete box shape from inside i will uh, give you a glimpse of that also once we open the hatch covers um, and at the same time uh, I will also show you how loading and discharging uh, of uh, onboard these ships are done uh, so like I said from port to starboard you can see the hatch covers running and we have got 11 hatch covers uh, over here or 11 holes and uh, uh, and how do we do the loading and discharging we have got uh, two gantry cranes for this so these are the gantry crane arrangement we have got two gantry cranes parked right aft one is uh, in the forward you can see the other one is similar to that uh, and that is just behind okay so these are the gantry crane arrangement if you see uh, the, this the small yellow thing I'll just go close to it also and I'll let you know but in the meantime you can uh, see the, uh, the two uh, two arrangement right here and right here these are folded as of now these are called the cantilevers this can come out and go towards the seaside or the jetty side also so we have for one particular gantry crane we have got four such cantilevers so this can just open up and this way and this way now the the trolley which is fitted inside can and this uh, this hooks and this uh, loading arrangement basically loading arrangement hooks can go out right and can be extended right up to the uh, jetty 
side okay and also as far as the uh, picking up the cargo from the jerry side is concerned so this basically gives an extension for the movement of the crane trolley which is uh, right uh, fitted in the middle i'll just show you once we go get closer to that so we will discuss all these things in detail uh, like i said we'll be discussing a variety of cargoes which we are keep on loading over here like containers and uh, uh, you've got steel plates and uh, steel coils and bagged cargo so we will be discussing a hell lot of cargoes which uh, it's it's a very uh, you can say broad topic in itself so as you can see as i'm getting closer to the uh, gantry crane you can see how huge it is all right so this is called the turntable arrangement this is for gantry crane number one and the other right in the yard you can see for number two the SWL of this crane is 40 tons so it can pick up 40 tons you can also see these cantilever arrangements so this just opens up and go towards the seaside so this is the operator's cabin so operator can you can sit in this uh, cabin and operate this uh, this turntable arrangement this is used to load and discharge the cargo right from inside of the holes okay so and this crane cabin can move can move can move when along like i said this 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 crane cabin can move along this track and this cantilevers can open up and it gives an extension for this cabin and the and the turntable to go right onto the jetty level and uh, to the extent of the jetty and then discharge or load the cargo all these hatch covers are stacking type so that we don't have it doesn't open sideways it are always lifted up using these gantry cranes and they're stacked on top the other uh, hatch covers so that we can work out the cargo inside the hold so i hope you enjoyed this video this is just a kick start video uh, for the series which will be covering on the general uh, cargo how to go about the uh, different different kind of sophisticated cargos i'm telling you this because this is a very uh, this is a kind of a ship whereby you are handling very expensive cargos and very expensive cargos means uh, very expensive claims if you're not able to take care of the cargo in time so we will be uh, going in depth uh, in the series as the videos will come uh, slowly and steadily and i'll make sure that uh, we uh, clarify all your doubts uh, in the upcoming videos uh, but anything if you want to uh, ask us uh, right now over this video you can just drop your comment uh, in the comment section below and we shall always be happy to help you and uh, thank you so much for watching this video have a great day ahead till then we meet again so we are also enjoying this lovely evening out at Xingyang in China where we are anchored for the past 15 days so see you next time take care bye bye